Jesus and Mero, <laughs> the breakfast, the breakfast club. Nah, bro. First Jesus and Mero break up, and every day I wake up. Yep. <laughs> somebody got Jesus and Mero. Like two, three weeks ago, real shit. It's over. Like they creative differences. No, fuck that. Mero. Okay, so long story short, Showtime was not fucking with their manager, right? Mero had loyalty to the manager. Jesus did not. So D, um, Showtime was like, yo, we don't want the manager on set. Right. He's argumentative. Um, he He's bullying people. He's making the workers at Showtime uncomfortable during the production. Mero was like, well, no, fuck out of here. Well, if he goes, I go because that's our manager. Jesus was like, well, no, he's actually wowing. <laughs> So he has to go. And then they started their, their their beef. And then it just exploded from there. Oh, you was never down with the cause. Oh, you was just a bitch ass nigga. No, fuck you. And it went social media. It went bad. It was nasty. And yeah, so that show is done. Yeah. Yep. 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 No, yep. You're, you're absolutely correct. You're absolutely Real correct. I wish I, I wish I could refute that. <laughs> I can't. Like, I, I wish I'd be like, now fuck out of here. Nah, nope. Mm-mm. You're a thousand percent correct. No brand loyalty. At the same time, I'm cursing the manager out. I don't give a fuck how long I knew you. You're not fucking this bag up. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. I just, I, my thing with, with, well. Damn, did we ever speak about that? Yeah. What side you on? You want the Jesus or the you know what happened? side? <laughs> we 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 talked about it, but <clears throat> you didn't give that explanation. We just talked about them breaking up and, Fuck. and how we we missed some, they we spied. missed something. We missed something because I didn't know that till right now. I was so opportunistic. I was trying to slide in pause to yeah. their spot. Yeah, because one thing I would have said about that is that's the one thing I don't like about New York people. Mm-hmm. They're so quick to like get in there. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's never like, it's never like, all right, cool, you fucked up. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we low key, high key, we started the show already. You know that, right? Did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Keep going. Oh, shit. Keep going. Nah, keep going. Well, no, because the. Nah, we get started. Yeah, we gonna start it and then do introductions, but yeah. I, I like where we at right now. But what I learned about New York, no matter how long or how. how Pause. Fr- friends, or how long you've been friends, they always got this 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 turn up button. It's like, well. Well then, fuck, fuck it then. Fuck, fuck the whole shit. It's like, well, no, no, what? No, no, it's like, no, yo, no, but no, 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 <laughs> no, no I, from no. what I've learned. Okay, so I, I'm now not, you, you're different. W- wait, wait, in general, no, but bro, like, don't, don't do that. Um, one thing I won't do, I'm not gonna take away from your experiences because yeah. if those are your experiences, cool. Those happened. It happened. I can't take away from that. But right. I will say is, I've been in New York a lot longer than you, of course. obviously, right? Yeah, so. Sure. I'm a native New Yorker for real. That's 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 the birthplace. That's that's where I'm at. Sure. Um, the 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 group of friends and the circle that I've built in that city does not operate on that timing, right? So I can agree there. So if it's an anomaly or if it's an outlier, sure. I I can't say it doesn't happen, mm-hmm. but what I won't say is that happens more times than not. I refuse to I refuse to say that. You don't think so? No. I, I got the droopy it. mic. God damn it. I, this, <laughs> I was trying not this, to get I, the droopy mic. I refuse. He was dropping the whole time. I refuse to believe that or I refuse to even put that out into mainstream media. Yeah. Because New York historically has been so divisive. Like it's. But that's kind of what I'm saying. Like that. that's what I mean. No, but wait, wait. We're, we're talking about two different things right now, right? Like okay. I. We're divisive because we're competitive, but we're also competitive because there's 10 bajillion people in a square foot. So when you multiply the square footage, you multiply the people. What I'm saying is, if you go to West Bubble Fuck, Kentucky, yes, there's there's 1,500 people in a county, so the competition is not there. So if somebody is doing something, they'll all band behind that one individual because they're doing something. No, what, I, what I'm that's saying different is, New Yorkers, New York. to me, but honestly, that's why y'all are my friends, because mm-hmm. y'all was different. There's no brand loyalty. I disagree, bro. Like, I don't see it. I, I see people get money together, but the minute that, for somehow, there's a disagreement, it's like, well, fuck it. I was only here to get money anyway. Nah, no. 
I'm bro, just telling you what I've seen. Cool, I mean, in my and, experience. And, and, and once again, once yeah, again, I, I can't, I, bro, I cannot refute your experiences. You know? All I can say is I apologize that you've had those experiences. Yeah. But a nigga like me who been through it all but you're in different. New York. But That's what, why we're friends, but, though. Understood. You know what but what so, I'm saying is that, yeah. bro, I've, been, I've, I've seen too much. I've been through too much. Yeah. The circles that I maneuver through, the, the individuals that I converse with, that's that's not the case. Like, and I, and I I feel so bad that that's the story that you can tell because now that further pro progresses the story of New York being ain't shit. Yeah, but, I mean, but that'd be my problem. When you see a motherfucker like Cam and Mace, they, yeah. they, they just can't get it together. It's like, my, like both of y'all rich, both of y'all got legacies, both of y'all been friends since y'all was kids. Yeah. What? What? What is it? Like, it, 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 no, but they they explained it. You know, I just don't Bo- get it. Both both parties explained you know, it. I just I just mean like that, like Jay and Dame. Just y'all y'all both rich. Y'all been friends for years. Y'all built businesses together. I understand you could have creative differences and feel mm. two different ways, but it's like it's like, nah, fuck that, fuck that. I'm taking my ball and going home. And it's like the other person, like, well, fuck you. I'm taking my ball and going home. And it's like I see that so much in New York. I'm serious, and it never stops. You. you you know why it's unfair? Like, what is that? You know why it's unfair? <laughs> I don't get it. It's never... Oh, well, I, go ahead. I, I tell you why it's unfair. Yeah. And you can let me know if I'm bugging or mm-hmm. not. But I feel like that is unfair because all of the legacy acts come from New York. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. Because sure. that's, that's just... It is what it is. It, right. that's, that's where it originated. So when we look at something that imploded, you see the legacy acts, and mm-hmm. the legacy acts came from New York. Right. So you only have one place to point your finger. But what I'm saying is it's unfair because we all came from the same place. So the whole world only has one place to point a finger at, regardless. If if everything was peaches and cream and everything was just a great story and there was no negative stories, we'll say New York is the greatest place on earth because that's where it all originated from. So you take the good with the bad is what I'm trying to say. So because we know that it originated there and the legacy acts come from there and everybody else aspired to be like that and then they became their own, all you can do is point at the originators and be like, well, but look what happened. We gotta and do a that's slightly unfair. Quick. Tom Sam, you can keep that one rolling because it don't affect that one. I got to call my, my sister's. God damn it, Dame. Bro, that was a great conversation. Uh, this is the game mo track Yo, <laughs> I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh, this is Jay Willard, podcast killer, aka podcast poppy, mm. aka the power father. Uh-huh. This right cheers right Willard cheer. Wednesdays. You about to get some ghetto news hey. from your relationship gurus. Hey. <laughs> Chicka, bow, love it. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Wait, what? I'm mad that was my real response. My real response was wow. Okay, okay. Brown chicken, brown cow. That's funny. That's an old. Yo, dude. my guy. Man, what's the word? What's happening? There? How we doing? We doing good, man. We doing good. How we feeling? How was your week? Talk to me. Talk to me. Listen, man. I'm feeling good. I, I'm excited when I see you post. No, I love it, man. And I love to excite you. No pause. <laughs> it's a press play. <laughs> <laughs> no pause. Nah, man. Um, I uh. My beard is extra fleeky. Oh. Uh, because oh, I've, oh. Uh, you know, we're in Atlanta now. Yes, yes, we I'm are. I'm sinking in this couch, by the way. Mm. But I've, we've decided, I've decided that I'm going to just have to just cut my own hair, man, because I can't get the barbers like I'm looking for, man. Mm. I, now, come to, now do, something. That, do, do you want to get on this tangent real quick? For like three seconds. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow up. What's up with y'all barbers in Atlanta, man? Bro, I don't fuck with none of them. I, I don't know. I, bro, maybe I it's don't me. like you guys, okay? I, right? I don't like you, okay? <laughs> right? I, I have personally not 
I have not getting got getting got, what gotten. the fuck I'm talking about. I have not received now the level of cuttery that I've gotten in New York. I don't I know. have received it, but it was sixty dollars. Yeah, bro, I'm not paying sixty for a cut. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I'm not paying sixty and for a cut. And it's downtown Atlanta. You know, I, I'm, bro, I'm not paying sixty for a I, cut. I, shout out to my man Mike. My man Mike be hooking it up. Man, fuck Mike. Sixty dollars for a haircut, $60. Nah, bro. You have a baldy. That's what I'm saying. So how hard is that, bro? It's a baldy and a beard, bro. I get a whole taper. I got locks on nah, bro. I'm not paying sixty for no cut. I'm sorry. Nah, that's wildin'. So I just invested in my own clippers. Um, As you should, bro. That's something that you let don't me know. Cut your hair. <laughs> something you don't know. I, I know how to cut hair. Not great, mm-hmm. but my first enough to get by. No, but my first, 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 first job literally was in a barbershop. That was like eighteen fifty six. Like. First, first, first job was sweeping hair. I was the you know the little kid in there sweeping hair. Mm-hmm. So you know they were showing me how to do light fades and all that stuff. Got you, like, got Yo, you. Damn, you want to give them like okay? <laughs> like that was me. Yeah, that was my first, first, first job, man. Real That's good. yeah. So I, 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 I've That's always funny. known how to cut hair. I'm just lazy and I. And and I got spoiled by the Dominicans in Brooklyn, bro. Come, I got spoiled. The cut me twenty five dollars. You remember it was fifteen? Yes. It was fifteen. Bro, you get a whole massage, <sighs> nigga. They come on now. They take care of you. Pause. Like it's, it's a great. But you got cut. happy endings or something? Nah. <laughs> it's a great cut though. It's a great cut. Um, spoiled by the Dominicans, man. Yeah. Um, them niggas used to hook shit up. For the 15. Yes. And I remember, like, they went up in increments, but they gave so much that it didn't matter. He was like, ah, shit, 20, poppy. He was like, I don't care, nigga. Shit, 25. I don't care, nigga. Like, like, give a fuck, bro. Bro, (laughs) Even better, every time the price hiked up, they gave more service. Nigga. You was getting every nigga. They was doing manicures and pedicures in there. Like <laughs> you was getting a cut, yeah. facial manicure, pedicure, yeah. everything for twenty five dollars. You like fuck it. I, I, I pay love for it, that. man. And and right the on cleanest, notion. The cleanest lines. Like yes, no oh, bumps. No, you know black people get bumps. No bumps. They God. took care of you. So they anywho. were scientists. They made sure that the, the the chemicals that they used was natural. It's like they 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 used the shit that was gonna complement your skin. You walked out of there look you were glowing. It's facts. You bro, you glowed when you facts. came out. I'm not receiving that level of care down here. Nope. So because of that, why the fuck am I spending sixty dollars? Well, for sixty so, you get it though. Nah, bro. Not because I got it. I, I got that level of care from Mike. <laughs> but it was sixty dollars, and I'm gonna tell you what, what was more. Because Mike ain't Moreno, <laughs> Moreno hold you down, bro. <laughs> you know what's funny? Shout out um, to Moreno, bro. Uh, you got Javier too. Javier, Javier was, was next. To- yeah, right next to Moreno. Fire. Loki, I like Javier better. Tripping. Moreno hold it down, <laughs> nigga. Shout out to my boy Moreno. Yeah, yeah, Javier, bro. Come on, man. Fucking niggas up. I miss my Brooklyn man, I do Dominican miss the niggas. Bible, like, bro, I miss my life. niggas, bro. Real like, fuck is going on? You remember when I, we used to do the show? And people would be in the comments like, yo, beard look fly. I'm like, I <laughs> like, know, right? I, shout out to my boys. <laughs> like, yo, ain't nobody said that in years. Facts, yeah. You ain't you ain't catch that since. You ain't catch that compliment. Since. Niggas been fishing too. <laughs> Niggas been fishing for that compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see this? You know, nothing, nah, nothing. No, nothing. 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 <laughs> You're not gonna get it, bro. Oh shit, man. But they're not here. Javier <laughs> not here. So Long story you, you, short. You, you go with Roberto, <laughs> I'm, I'm the just, owner of the shop, Roberto. You ever use him, though? Uh, yeah. R- R- Roberto, yeah. Roberto. Dude. Yeah, he ain't fuck me up. He ain't, he ain't, I mean, he ain't cold he, like me. Nah, he, he, ain't, he ain't ice cold, but he, he did old people cuts. But it was decent for me. Yeah. I know if my boy wasn't there, I, I can get a regular shape up, nothing else. Yeah. I can get a regular, regular. shape up. I don't even have that confidence down here. I don't. First dude we met, I want to say his yeah, slogan. Yeah, I'm not going to say his name. Might, not say his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he didn't have no razor. Boo-boo. Bro. Boo-boo. When he started lining me up with the actual liners. Boo-boo. I was like, nah. Boo-boo. Oh, my God, bro. It's been a blade Boo-boo. on my shit for years. Yeah. 
He was like, and I got you again. I was no, like, you ah. Don't, you don't got oh, me. Oh, my you God. You don't. It's the opposite right now. And the only clippers I know for a fact that work like that is some gold joints. Yeah, yeah, If they yeah, pull yeah. out them gold ones, yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, you can do it. But not with them regular. Uh, the and- the Andes, Andes. The Sty- Andes. Styler 2s, yeah, whatever. Andes, no, yeah. bro, them shits is dead. We don't do that no more. Jesus Christ. We don't do that no more, y'all. We on some rate. Come on, man. We Our cuts need to be slick, dog. So. Long story short, we don't want to bore you with barbershop talk. Yeah, no, no more barbershop but, talk. But, yeah, I had to cut my own shit. Um, how'd I do? Did I? Bro, it look good. It I look, it look, yeah, it look it good. You look good. good. You look smooth. I didn't have no razor, so I took the actual, <laughs> yeah, you, you actual razor yeah. and tried to be yeah. like, nah, because I was, I was trying to get my Dominican on. But No, but it, it looked good. It looked good. It yeah. looked decent. All I ain't going to hold you. All right, cool. Solid cut. Yeah. I'll give you a 7 out of 10. This is a solid cut. I'll take it. No, I'm sure she, nigga, you should. Take a slight fade right here too. Like, I, you know. Okay, yeah. you you faded the baldy. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> faded the baldy. That's nuts. <laughs> Heard That's it. Do the show, that, <laughs> uh, bro. You the one that said it. Nah, nah. What, what was fucking your... faded the baldy? How was your week? Bro? Um, my week. Was... I don't care. Fuck you. <laughs> my week was phenomenal, but it was phenomenal because I got to be a dad that's proud of his. You always son. coming through with dad no, stories. Y- yes. My son. This and, is the dad bud. My son and his football team won the eight and under they football won. championship. So you're going to Brooklyn. Yes. You're going to Florida. Yes. <laughs> Bro, they won that shit. So it's like, hey, it's fucking lit. That's what's up. Mind you. That's what's up. Mind you, I'm I'm watching the game. That's what's up in so many ways. Bro, I'm I'm watching the game. Were you there? No, it was in it was in New York. Oh. So I'm watching it on FaceTime. Oh, yeah, that's so what I was wondering. I'm okay. watching the game. Okay. Because it's a kid game. I'm like, yeah. it's not televised. No, nah, I'm watching the game. Yeah. And my son is on defense. He mm-hmm. plays defense. He's a cornerback. And one of them bum ass little kids ran up the middle, lost the ball. And guess who picks the ball up? Mm. <laughs> Jeremiah. This happened twice? Fumble recovery. Wait, no, that happened last week. No, I'm telling you what happened. Again. Championship game. We on to something. We going to the league, Dave. I'm trying to tell, bro, can I tell you something? We are going to the league. And when we are in the league, we get to flex on everybody who talks shit. Their kids ain't shit. But we going to the NFL. You're not going to tell me two weeks back to back we got a fumble recovery? You're not going to tell me that. You're not going to tell me that. You're not telling me that. And he got an uncle. Who's already in the NFL. Bro, it might be in listen, the blood. Listen, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk. I don't want to over talk it. It might be in the blood. Because you know, you, you know, parents get to over talking their kids, and they get so of excited. Course. My brother played in the NBA. I mean, you think they was? That's a fact. That's you a gonna fact. be in the NBA too? Mm, Bro, all all I gotta say is, somebody needs to humble me quick. Something needs to happen because if, oh. if I, do not, <laughs> do. not. Not let me get to a level where my son oh, shit. is really busting ass. Right, because he's eight right now. It's uh, eight it's eight and under league. Uh, it's eight and under. That's crazy. Don't let me get to high school. Fumble recovery twice, though? Twice. Two weeks? Two weeks in a row, this week championship game. Matter of fact, because you think I'm lying. I believe you. No, no, I believe, no, no, I believe no, you. No, no, I, I, I know you do, and I love you for that. Yeah. But I remember that it happened last week. Look at the championship or chain around his neck. Oh. You think we playing? <laughs> we not fucking playing. That's we're so not cute. playing. That's cute as hell. Bro, we're here to take names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're here to give damage. Oh shit. Mind you, this is season Yo, one. I work there. Bro, come on now. But but that's my week. Wow. I, I it resonates with me because I remember a, uh, a couple weeks ago we had Anthony Dalton on the show, mm-hmm. and we was just talking about our kids playing football. Play football, yeah. The season just started. Right. Mind you, this was the, 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 the summer season. That's crazy. Fall is about to start. So he won the summer championships, and we already going to the, to the big one. He's also in the fall championship. I mean, the fall season. But – what do we talk? Now let you me, can get out there and train with him. Man, man. come on now. You get listen, out there, listen, y'all, y'all better stop and playing. You played football. With me. I did. Yeah, yeah. So you know the training and, and all I did. the, I know, the I know, shit to do. I'm not no professional, but I know a little nah, bit. But you, but I know I'm a saying, little bit. You played a little. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know the little steps. Okay. I, I, I do that. I, how, how how old were you when you played? 
Um, I played Pop Warner, and then I played two years in high school. So in total, so, I played like six years of football. So was that seventh, eighth grade? Pop Warner was, was that? younger than that. Okay. I was like fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. Yeah, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then ninth, tenth in high school. We call it Pee Wee. Y'all call it Pop Warner Pee Wee. It's Pee Wee's the same shit. Pop Warner Pee Wee's the same shit. I didn't know. It's just regional. It's regional. Yeah, yeah, regional. what it's called. It's regional, yeah. Yeah. But so so that's my week. Um, Amazing, bro. I didn't know they won, dog. That's cool. That's that's hard. Come on now. I'm I'm not playing. That's a hard pitch. (laughs) We out here. (laughs) That's what you're saying. Nigga. (laughs) They, They better not. Nah, that's cool. That's really cool. But... Let's get the show on the road. Yeah, man, let's do it. Let's get to going. Um, Some shit has fucking happened. Let's go, man. I'm so happy that we this ha- happened. Bro, we have well, to no, talk about not it. not happy that it happened. No, I'm not happy at all. But I'm happy but to be able to be... We may be the first people to ever speak about this. All right. Um, It's news that The Breakfast Club has disbanded. Woo. No more. Woo. It's over. Now, I don't know this to be 100,000% true, but... They've been going for like 11 years. Yeah, 10, 11 years. Yeah. Strong. Strong, though. They're, like, they're, top. They're arguably the number one radio show... Ever? In the history of radio. I, I'll give them that. No, uh, you got Star and Buckwild, you got... No, 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 but I, I'll say hip-hop, number one. I, yeah. Even they're, they're branded as the number yeah. one hip-hop radio yeah. show... Ever. Bro, they, they go from Number six, two, I think, is uh, Big Boy. They go from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. every morning for the last 11 years. That's crazy. In the number one market in the country. Yes. And the biggest market, um, syndicated. Syndicated and, and pushed out to other markets. Because we like get eight, them here in Atlanta. Bro, it's like 80 other states that yeah. they... Bro, iHeart Media, iHeart right. Radio, all that shit. Yeah. But Angela Yee... Mm. Um, Late last night, early this morning, mm. said the Breakfast Club, as you know, it is over. Wow. Um. How? I, once again, we're speculating. Well, yeah. We, we we may be jumping the gun here, but yeah. I, how how do you feel, or how would you feel if the Breakfast Club was no more? As I pour my drink. Um. What is that drink, by the way? Oh, okay, so. Um, this is called Mercer and Prince. Uh, this is a whiskey, um, ASAP Rock, ASAP Rockies whiskey. That's really good. That's a fucking tongue twister. ASAP Rockies whiskey. ASAP <laughs> 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 Rockies whiskey. ASAP Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. ASAP Pico Chain. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's um, it's a it's a Canadian whiskey. Mm-hmm. Um, mixed well, influenced by a Japanese oak. It's a lot going on. Yeah, it is. but it tastes. It tastes. It tastes. It tastes fine. amazing. It's man. amazing. It's a great um, drink. You know. But yeah, I don't want to cause attention. No, it's to all it good. It's all they good. ain't paying us. Yeah, ASAP. Yeah. No, but I think it's cool. And, and it pay comes, for this placement. And it comes with a little cup like that. Yeah, it comes fire, with bro. cups and shit. That yeah, it's fire, bro. Um, how do I feel about the Breakfast Club breaking up? Yeah. If that is it, the news, if that's true, right? Yeah. Because now this is new. We just heard, you know what I mean? Um, it's painful. Being that we do hip-hop and news, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, these are our big brothers this and sisters. Is, this is Mount Rushmore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Charlemagne is arguably the top, yeah, the yeah, biggest. Yeah. Keep no, going. No, the, the. The biggest yeah. media yes. person yes. in the world? Mm-mm. Not world. Well, wait a minute. Black I, I, media. I was, there you go. Black I'll media. go black media. Cause you still got Joe Rogan. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair and enough. we were definitely gonna talk about Joe Rogan tonight. Okay, fair enough, mm-hmm. Sarah. So, so yeah, Charlemagne the God is the Michael Jackson of black media. Wow. Currently. Think about that. I know what I said. Wow. Right now. That's a hot take. I fuck with it. It's, right. I can like, rock with it. You can. Yeah, I can rock with it. You're not fucking with him. Yeah, you're not. You're not fucking with him, <clears throat> as far as I mean. He he ain't put us on his network and shit, but you know it's all. We we'll right. get there. Mm-hmm. But you know what else ain't on his network? Lip service. Just wanna mm-hmm. talk about that for a second. Yeah, the Black Effect podcast does not have lip service. 
So. Yo, you so divisive. No. <laughs> you so divisive. I honestly, what happened? Wow. Uh, I didn't even think about that. So I've known. Why would you not have your sister on the on, on the network? Or DJ Envy's podcast is not on. He got a podcast with his wife. Talking but I, marriage. But I fuck with y'all so much, right? Wow. Uh, also, second season of Charlemagne Show just came on, rebranded. I forgot what it's called. Um, yeah, he changed the name. Uh, um, fuck, I forget the name. Yeah, but yeah. forgot the name. But it's a rebrand. Whatever. It's a rebrand, but same show. They ain't paying us for this. Fuck yeah, that. but yeah, we ain't here to advertise other people. Mm-hmm. But I, because I listened to their other podcast, the Brilliant Idiots, him and Andrew Schultz. Mm-hmm. I'm saying names on purpose. Um, so hopefully we can tag some of these people on the video. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. But um, SEO, SEO. <laughs> Uh, but no, 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 but I watched that, and and it was a thing. It came up on their show. Mm. Uh, Andrew challenged him. He was like, so you still going to do Breakfast Club? Like, I mean, do you not know that you, and Charlamagne was kind of like, bro, mm. you know. Hey, you relax. You know, relax. You bugging out. <laughs> yeah. You know, but he was like, I remember when he said, he was like, but I re-signed a contract for the next year. So to be honest, it's been about a year since I heard that podcast. Mm. So he signed so a contract for a year. Yeah, they're so, done, and, and you didn't even know I knew all this shit. Look at you. I didn't. I, I did. I brought, <laughs> no, no, no. But but I, I'm but, excited right but now. But research now, you know, I'm, um, uh, not research now. But I'm saying I actually I follow Charlemagne hard. Like I pay attention to the things they say and things they do. Yeah. Because we in the same game. Yeah. So, yeah. So contractually, it technically is just probably over. Now I know it's gonna be a thing. Mm. But you ask me, how I feel like I said I'm hurt because they're the, they're the top. Bro, we we just lost Jesus and Mero, mm-hmm. and now potentially we just lost the Breakfast Club. Well, good things got to come to an end, bro. Do you believe that? I mean, uh, 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 sorry. Do you agree with that? I'm sorry. Better question. Do you agree that all good things must come to an end? Yeah. I, I I'm not sure if I subscribe to that. I don't know. Call me a um a hopeless romantic in 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 in, in those regards. But yeah. I I would rather see the good things continue, so that we can have a positive role model, so to speak, hmm. on on at least something that worked. Yeah. If not one thing ever worked, how the fuck can we work? But what works forever? N- <laughs> I'm saying, it it kind of fucked me up. I don't know if you saw my face. I, like, not, it I'm, got I'm, deep. It got okay. deep for me for a minute. I'm like, not saying What for, works forever? I'm not saying forever. In fact, if you want to go one step deeper, mm-hmm. the only thing that does work forever is, is death. death, yeah, which is morbid. the end of a good thing. Mm. If that's how you look at it, that's what's like. Oh, we're we gonna get super esoteric. No, 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 I get, I get it. But I'm like, the it. only thing that works is good things coming to an end. Like literally, is the only thing that works. You said esoteric, and I believe that's the biggest word we've ever used on Willow Wednesdays. <laughs> we working on it, baby. Like that, that I might be. That might be. <sighs> Nigga said esoteric, and I instantly was like, shit, I need an encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, but okay, back to the topic at hand. Mm, that's bro. That's tough. Cause, I mean, every good thing comes to an end. But so I, I, so, I don't think it should, but it, they do. So I get it. Does so that's no, why yeah, I say they like, do. Ah, cause low key, I'll make it negative hypothetically. Let's say they all died. What I know, the right? Fuck. I just wanted to go that way. I could have went positive. I told you, was like, let's take the negative route. If they all just died. It's like, well, it's a good thing. It came to an end. And, and how we feel? Oh, it's sad. But then guess what? Next week, something else will come up. No, I. Okay, so I. Right. But that's where we disagree. So let's let's because I don't think next week, bro. Okay, let's strike that from the record. No, 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 no. Because that's not that wasn't my real point. No, no, I was just being I, a dick. I, I know it's not your point. That wasn't my point. My bad. But go ahead. But you know, you know what? Let's table that. Let's yeah, table that. that let's table that. Point. Let's that table that. Do do you know where you were going? So I do know where I was going. Cool. My bad. Because so that's just fucking weird. Let's continue. I wasn't going there. And we'll, we'll table that. My point was things have to quote unquote die so that new things can grow. Understood. That's what I'm really meant. That's okay. Just, fuck fuck that terrible ass scenario. My bad. Mm-hmm. But things have to go away so that we can have something next. So 
like you said, the growth. Yeah. What Something was uh? Must... What was what was uh, uh? I wasn't in New York. You said Buckwild and um. It was Star and Buckwild. Star and Buckwild, but the they shit, went away. Shit got too crazy, yeah. right? Yep. And, and then, then some, something happened that progressed the culture. It went right, further. Right. Gotcha. So that happens in everything. Like yeah, you know, have you have you heard of Tom Joyner? Tom Joyner. Yeah. Tom Joyner. Oh, but I don't Bro. know. Once, no, no. Wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Before you get too crazy here, Stop Tom Joyner is Chicago though. That's a Chicago. Understood, but, but it was just it was just a, it was legendary in our space. But it was just, if you want to be here in front of a microphone, you right. know who the fuck Tom. But it's Joyner a syndicated is. show, so yes. so I don't know what cities. No, you're right. Got if you, I'm in right. Rhode Island, I'm like you ever time. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know if you heard of Charlemagne in Rhode Island, nigga. I don't mm-hmm. know. So for us, Tom Joyner was that type of way. Gotcha. Um, we had a lot of people like that in Chicago. Told black radio. I want to get real deep into it mm. and do too much, but a lot of black radio coming from the blues era, from the the forties, started in Chicago. Like a lot of it, bro. Mm. Cadillac Records, the, the, yep. like all yeah. that shit. Yeah. Hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> it's the wrong movie. No, no, that's Cadillac Records. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Sorry. It's okay. what, what record label was that? Nah, who who the fuck? Uh, what's the name? That's whoop that trick and. Uh, yeah, what record label was that? I don't know. What Cuba Gooding label? does Cuba. No, the fat dude, Anthony Anderson. No. No, nigga, it was Cuba. Terrence Howard. Terrence Day or Terrence yeah. Howard. What record label was that? I don't know the label. Fuck it. But I'm thinking Cadillac Records is Beyonce. But it was hard out here for a pimp, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad because I understand where your brain went. Facts. But. Nah, but nah, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. All the, a lot of that shit started in Chicago, bro. Like, mm. Who the fuck am I thinking of? I cannot think nah, of. I don't know the name, but I know what you're talking about. The old guy who put on. Santa Claus. You stupid. Stop. Now you being me. I love it. You're the troll? You're the troll? Bro, I learned from the best, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um, Keep going. I, I got more for you. I'm actually upset about this. Go ahead. Because you seen the movie Stop with Beyonce. I did. No, I did. Had the wig, the blonde the dream wig, girl. and she was singing, and nope, before that. It was the Dream Girls? Oh, my God. What's going on with my brain, bro? That's all that's Rebecca. You treat. All, right, we All that Ukrainian on. vodka. You have to move on. I'm, no, no, I actually, we, we, we can easily progress this. Let's move on, man. Cool. But, so, but, but at the end of the day, man, it sucks. I, I, I will say to, to e- easily progress, but to stay where we're at. Yeah. What happens next? What the fuck can possibly be next? Now we're talking about a nationally syndicated show yeah. that's been in almost every major city in the United States for the last 10 to 12 years. Easily. You want to know what's next? What the fuck happens next for black radio? Because that's what we had. Willow Wednesdays. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you know. <yeah. laughs> that laugh is fucking silly. Oh, what was it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's my new drop, y'all. We're not going to let We're that gonna, rock. We're not going to let that rock, no. I'm going to rap. Blah, 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 nah, blah. Nah. Ah! <laughs> We're not letting that rock. We're not letting that rock. It's but my new, it's my new I, rap I, 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 I fuck with the sentiment. We could easily, we, bro. We said this with Jesus and Mero, bro. We've been on their heels, yeah, our whole careers. Uh-huh. Like y'all, yeah. yeah, we was one move away, yeah. But now the Breakfast Club goes away, bro. That's that tough. is nuts. Yeah, that's tough. That is that's tough. nuts. That's tough, bro. So whatever, man. We gotta let it go, bro. We got more shit to talk about. I mean, we we have we have a lot. Yeah, cause I know you. Um, cause that's new. That's breaking news. Bro, that yeah. that shit just happened. I just I just wanted the. the the fucking people to know, like, yo, shit is happening. Um, Twenty One Savage has had quite a week. Okay, and I I love that you don't know these. Topics. I don't know what I don't know what we're cool. talking about. I love it. I like real. So t- real Twenty Twenty One Savage was on uh, social media pretty much, just, and it, it resonates because we're here now. Okay, but he was talking about the state of gun violence. In Atlanta. 21, 21. And he was saying how babies are dying and and women and children and everybody's dying at an alarming rate right. in this city that we're currently living in. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't like it and it's not progressive and he can't subscribe to it. Okay. And literally the whole world was like, but that's the music you promote. Mm. And that's where the conversation came about. Did he so, respond? Absolutely. Okay, because that's, that's what I was waiting on. I'm like, yeah. Absolutely. You got to get past the obvious part. Yeah. 
So what he said in quotes, he said, babies are getting killed and it's just sad. It's making me depressed. He said. 21, 21. Shut up. Every time you read a quote, I gotta, come on, man. <laughs> you got that shit. It is, yeah, every yeah, time you he, say something, you got to say that. Bro. He do. Um, he said the gun violence is at an all-time high in Atlanta, mm. and I don't like it. 21. So the internet only can do what the internet can of do. Course. The internet will internet. <laughs> and the internet pulls up lyrics. And then talks about your lyrics with the state of the, the music in your area that right. you're you're disgusted with. He's an Atlanta artist, right? Yeah, yeah. He's a, I mean, he's, he's from I the mean, UK. I mean, from the UK. We know. He's, but he's an Atlanta artist, yeah, right? He's an Atlanta artist. Yeah. So the I can I can I literally I have like fifteen here, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna say one for the sake of this conversation. Okay. That resonated the most with me. Um, this is Twenty One Savage lyrics. He said. I just bought a pistol. It got 30 rounds in it. Mm. Pull up at your mama house, put some rounds in it. Mm. Wet a nigga block and watch them niggas drown in it. Mm. 100 round drum, gun a nigga down with it. 21. What the <laughs> fuck? I want to say it one more time so we can have like that. Because <laughs> like, I fuck with these bars. <laughs> I just bought a pistol, got a 30 rounds in it. 21. Pull up at your mama house and put some rounds in it. 21. Where the nigga block, watch them niggas drown in it. 21. Hunt a round drum, gun a nigga down with it. <laughs> 21. <laughs> it's your heart. Fire. That's a hard gun bar. Nigga, it, as the, far the, as the sake of bars. And you know what's funny? We both right. So you, you, you bro, can you, can you, can you recognize and understand a good gun bar? I, don't, I, I, don't, I love a gun. I love York, a good bro. gun bar. You from New York? Bro. Yes, I love it. I love a good gun bar. I have never wrote a gun bar. What? Oh, you're bugging. I've You've never, never written a gun bar. I've never written a gun bar. So then you you you've never written. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hip hop ain't about guns, <laughs> nigga. The nigga fuck? says who? <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, no, I get, it, I get. It. But no, no, I've never written a gun bar. Mm-hmm. I should do it one. Matter of fact, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna write a few just for the fuck of it. But, I just bought a pistol, got a thirty rounds in it. Mm. Pull up at your mama house and put some rounds in it. Wet a nigga block and watch them niggas drown in it. Hunt a round drum, gun a nigga down with it. Hunt a round drum. It keep going. That's so. That's a great. It was amazing. It's it's amazing. That's a good drum. Twenty one Savage violated that. That's a good like violated. But what happens is, you can't be so hard pressed on. You can't be so hard against something. Right. And you literally stand on the other side like, of yeah, it. Yeah, like that's the song they playing as they shooting at somebody's mama. Yes. With a 30-round drum. And thank you for providing that soundtrack. Yes. Which is why. So the question now became. I was like, let's get to it because yeah. I'm about to go in another place. The, the question <laughs> now became, is 21 Savage the pers- the right person to deliver this message? Like. <laughs> No, no. Cause, cause, that's a quick, easy answer. No, but let's let's don't don't dismiss it. Okay. But let's just talk about it, right? Okay. What? There's a higher level of gun violence in one area. Atlanta. Right? Yes. One of the premier or the the standout artists of the area is like, yo, it's too much. We need to relax. Let's dial it back as a people. The community then says, fuck out of here, bro. You're the one promoting it the most. Yeah. How do we feel about that is what I'm trying to say. But I feel the same way about drill music in Chicago, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I fucking hate drill music. I don't hate drill music because I don't like the cadences or the energy or the beats. It's the message. It's the message. And then and the action to the message. And then what, what people don't know about drill music is drill music is, I don't want to say dry snitching. But literally, the realer your drill music is, the more popular. The it more is. people get indicted, right? <laughs> like, no, but but that's the that's how it works. It's like if you roll up on somebody and, and hit them with the block block got 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 they, that makes your song realer. Mm-hmm. So like that's why like it 
I can't stand for that. I can't stand for that genre, like or that piece of the hip, whatever it is. What, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I don't I fuck it. with drill music for that reason. I get it because I fuck with Chief Keith as a pioneer. Chief Keith started a lot of people's careers. Fuck with him, and he's the OG. This nigga real. changed whole cadences. He changed rap. He's an OG as far as changing cadences. He might be a O O O G at this point. Like, he's... but what I'm saying is, I I don't like personally music that puts out that that sort of message because I feel like it's a negative connotation. I just feel like the energy you put in your music is 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 what you get back. And it's more spiritual for me, but I'll, I'll let you speak on it since you just like to ask me questions. What do you think about it? About what? Because you, you you just I went. That's what. But I, I bro, I you just myself. you literally just laid out fifteen great points. Damn so it! Like, that's what, what like, I was trying to stop. What myself. do I feel about what? Like let let me know where where you want me to. Let's respond. go back to twenty one. What do you feel about the twenty one shit? Um, I want to read his rebuttal. Okay, let's read it. And and then I'll give my response. Okay. I know I'm cheating. I'm sorry. I'm cheating. No. Because I, I know I... I you're now I, the new mediator moderator. Only because I, I wanted the conversation to go a specific way. I got way. you. But that's so, why I stopped. Cool. So I got, we, we then... We, we became outraged yeah. with the, the how dare you. Yeah. You, and then he responded. Okay. 21 then said, a song is for entertainment. It's not an instruction... It's, I'm sorry. It's not an instruction. It's not an instructional manual on how to live life. In real life, I give way too much money, and I spend too much time on financial literacy in my own community to stop. Do not make me one-dimensional. That's what Twenty One Savage said in response. So, now that we hear the the initial claim, the response from the artist, the response from social media, and then the re-response from the artist, that's I, I promise you the, the question that you asked me, I, I, I do want to ask, mm-hmm. but I wanted you to hear everything first. So, with him saying, the song is not for entertainment, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the song is just for entertainment, it's not instructional, um, it's not, I'm not telling you how to live for real, um, I, in my real life, give too much money to the community of Atlanta, um, to, to, to the circumstances of Atlanta. I make sure that my peoples are great. But the music that I make is strictly for entertainment. If you take my entertainment as real life, that's on you. That's not how I really feel about it. Don't put me as the forefront or the face for shit when I'm just here just to make a living, to feed my family. Um, I, I I take care of my community as I'm going along with it. That's it. That, that's what I'm here for. How do you feel about that statement? Do you want to answer first? I mean, I, I, I will if you don't want to because you've answered already. I just want to make, because that, that hurt, that hurts. Like, that's deep for me. So then I, I want you Please to answer, answer Dame. No, no, fuck that. I want you to answer Dame. Want me to say it again? No, 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 no. God, right, go, oh, God, go. no. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> no, because that's deep for me. That's deep for me. Because I know that we don't control the industry. Yeah. We don't control the messaging. Yep. Very true. And as a person who creates things. I'm glad you started there. But that's what I'm saying. Like It's really deep. That's why I said I, I need a little second. But we don't control the message. We don't control the industry. So because we don't control the industry, we don't control the messaging. It is a reason why songs sound how they sound and a reason why they pump these types of songs. So when people say, I'm just doing it for the money, it's like, well, you are the reason why the messaging is the messaging because, motherfucker, you creating the messages. Mm. So the fact that you're making money off of creating these messages means that... You're not a martyr, bro. But you are. You no, are. but... Uh, you okay, are. Okay. Let me shut up. I'm sorry. You are. Because the way the industry works is they want to pump the bullshit for black people to kill black people. They want gun violence. Mm. That's why gun bars are the highest shit. 
That's but, why I don't write them. But, but you're you're a voluntary martyr, which makes you not a martyr because there's there's no way that oh, you I know this. I see what you're saying. A martyr means you die for a good cause. Ex- yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, no, fair enough, fair enough. My bad, my bad. Let's my bad. get to the definition of it. Like mm-hmm. you're you're. You're a you're a voluntary you're a voluntary yeah, yeah, yeah. martyr. You're dying on a sword. But what mm. happens is, but what happens is, fam. So am I saying that Twenty One Savage is a piece of shit right now? He is, unfortunately, because you know what the fuck your music does. That's it. And for you to acknowledge that you know what it does, and you're just saying, "Hey, That's- this is just strictly for entertainment." But this is what I do with my real money, real but money. But that's why you time. even feel obliged to answer like that. That answer, wow. that answer ain't an answer of a person who really understands what's going on or who wow. even cares what that answer is. That answer, I'm a smart nigga, bro. I, you know, we know words. Yeah. You know, we can take words and listen. And we salesmen, nigga, we can we, can, we understand and words. And yeah. The Enhance. fact that you answer with, "Hey, I've given money to my community, baby. Hey." I I be it's, helping the people. That's I, listen, some I donated to the United Negro College Fund, niggas. Like I, you know what I'm saying? I, listen, I be giving turkeys in the hood, nigga. That don't answer the shit, bro. Mind you, all that shit is tax tax deductible. You get a write off for it. You that's get your money that kinda back. Made, that's why that upset me. And I'll tell you the other side. That's one step deeper. We are black people. Descendants of Africans. Absolutely. We communicate spiritually yes. through rhythm, cadence, Rhy- yes. energy. Have you seen a Burner Boy concert? <laughs> Boy, <clears throat> keep going. <clears throat> Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. No, so so it's important to me specifically what energies I put out. Because I know that deep down... <laughs> Esoteric. No, I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> That's the word, right? I'm just fucking with. You. No, I'm just fucking. With you. But no, I know deep down that for real, bro. Like all good energy, cause cause I know that that's what people need, and you feel it. You know, if, if you give all bad energy, you can feel that too. That's a fact. When I play Twenty One Savage in Future, I be wanting to shoot the shit out of niggas. <laughs> no, and it's crazy. Well, Future, maybe you want to do drugs. N- nah, you're right. Right. Um, and it happened to me when I was younger. It happened to me with DMX. DMX made you want to do drugs? No, DMX made me want to fight. Oh no, agreed. But I understood his energy because he was fighting demons. Yeah. yeah. So he put that physically, fight... metaphorically, yes. like all that shit. Yeah. So 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 when you heard DMX, you like, yo, you listen to this shit, you like, I'm fighting. I'm about some. to fuck somebody up, yeah. nigga. It's not just entertainment. It's or not something. like something. Something about yeah. to get fu- yo. Somebody. Somebody. I'm finna fuck up this sandwich. Up. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> fuck up this pizza slice, nigga. But you something about to be fucked yeah. up. Yeah. It, it and, and and that's that's the power we have. And so like it hurts me to watch people that conversation either either not know or mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Both of them bothers the shit out of me. Both of them. Both of them. As far as that. Yeah, yeah dog. Because if you know, then you know. So stop bullshitting. In fact, run with it. 50 Cent knew. Mm. 50 Cent was like, fuck it. I'm a gangster. Niggas shoot niggas guns. What up? What up? I'm going to make a TV show about it. But I'm going to make a billion off of this shit here. What you never seen 50 Cent say is, nah, I'm just this bullshit. I'm, that nigga was like, nah. Y- y- y'all like this? Lean in. Say less. Lean the fuck in. Here's a TV show about this. More guns. More Here's guns. Here's a movie about <laughs> the songs this. Songs to be more Here's guns. More book. guns. More guns. Go on. Fuck Here's it. a magazine cover. Here's all this about that. To this day, that's why we respect Fifty Cent. Yes, he monetized. He said, gangster. "Fuck it, this what I do." He monetized gangster. Comparative to Twenty One, it's like. <laughs> I don't care what you did for your hood, bro. You 21 Savage. 21 should be like, well, I'm here for it. Fuck niggas. Right? Like, just based off his music. Right? Mm. 21 Savage should be like, nah, fuck that. We out here. We shoot niggas. That's what we do. <laughs> Gun, bro. What's up? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stay there. So mm-hmm. so you're saying that um, a song is for entertainment. It's not an instru- it's not an instruction manual on how to live life. Um, in real life, I give a lot of money and spread financial literacy. What you're saying is, what he's talking about is null and void. One hundred percent. Because your your initial statement is to be destructive. That's it. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to do on the back 
Yeah. I give you one more person that was called out. Yeah. When they called out uh, Jeezy. Mm. Jeezy has taught us all how to sell crack. Literally. Bro, I got suspended a couple times from school because of, but you, I couldn't wear a white tee to school. I couldn't wear the white tee with a snowman. I was just about to say, that snowman t-shirt nigga, was crazy. I could not wear a black tee with a snowman. To school. Bro, I got suspended multiple times wearing a t-shirt. I never had one. I but had I remember motherfuckers getting kicked out of school for those shirts. Bro, I, yeah, I, I, I'm telling you. I had multiple only because my mom is first generation West Indian. Yeah. She didn't know. Yeah. So when I wanted a t-shirt with a She's snowman. Like, a Christmas t-shirt. She said, oh, this is, this is Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> right. No, this is Jeezy. Nigga. Yeah. We selling crack. <laughs> like, Sheesh. like, she didn't know what the ramifications of this t-shirt meant. But, so I remember yeah. when they was questioning Jeezy because Jeezy kids is in college. Yeah, they, bro, they grown, bro. They grown. He married the little Asian woman. Yeah, they yeah, having little yeah, babies. Yep. And, and it's like, yo, so Jeezy out here. And what was the quote? I'll never forget the quote. It was like, Jeezy out here sending his kids to college off of a career of making everybody else kids sell crack mm. and sell coke and be D-boys. Mm. What you... You going to so is it entertainment? Is it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Is it? And and, and the nigga said thug motivation one on one like you yeah bro you it's you're a teaching college, a class it's a college course it's a course nigga because because I would bro I was there for the course were Me you too? there? I love Jesus nigga what I, I was, was like it's bro, so motivating I was <laughs> there for the course so. Mm. So, so that's why, like, I, but, but I've also, as an artist, I've straight. That's why I strayed away from that. And, and for me personally, it's probably why my journey taking longer, mm. just to talk about it. But, but that's why I, I don't put that energy in my music, bro. I don't, cause, cause that's gonna be my legacy. And fine, at least once again, when the good thing ends, mm -hmm. at least I can live with the fact that I ain't put that energy out like that, bro. So, yeah. I ain't put that negative energy out there like that. Mm -mm -mm. What's next, man? I would I, I would say this. Um, I hope that the Breakfast Club did not break up. I don't even. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna say that. I, I, I hope. Yeah. Hope course. and pray. Of course. Hope and pray. Um, we talked about twenty one. Yep. I want to talk about some funny shit that has happened. Um, it was a quick blip on the news, but to me, it, it was funny, but it, it may lead to something bigger. Okay. The world has been spinning faster. <laughs> what? Okay. I love the fact that you're not in I, tune. I like not knowing. No, but so. I like creating. I'm a creator. Cool. The 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 world they sci they, they scientifically prove that the world has been spinning faster faster than what it's normally been spinning at, right? <laughs> so let's just say it took 30,000 rotations on the earth to 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 circumference the sun. Yeah. Right? Now it's saying instead of 30,000 it's now 29,000 circumference. Like Whatever the number what, is. whatever the number is is lesser than yeah. In all actualities, it's like a couple milliseconds off. Okay. okay. But it's saying that the Earth has been spinning faster now more than ever. So I wanted to ask a question. Go ahead. We're in 2022. It's now August. Mm. How fast did this fucking year fly by for you? Like it, it, when when you when you sit and think about it, I gotta I gotta I gotta shout out a person. I gotta shout out Taz for this one. Oh shit! Shout, shout out to Taz. Shout out to Taz, man. Um, Taz used to tell me she had a theory. She used to say, "Have you noticed that as we get older, time moves faster?" And no, I, was, I, I agree. And I was like, of course, yeah, because when we was a kid, summers was summers. Bro. You know how long summer was, nigga? 80,000 weeks. D bruh, like summer was everything. Bro, you fought everybody on the block. Dog. You played all the sports. You went to all the camps. 
But now with summer is a week and a half. So Taz was the first person um, who told me. She said, what did she say? She said, I just want to get it right. Because she was the first person to say this to me and it just fucked me up. Mm-hmm. She was like, time is changing. Yeah. She was like, literally, time is changing. And I was like, what do you mean? She yeah. was like, time is fucking changing. I'm just letting you know. And I'm like, this is crazy. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck are you, you talking about? You saying a bunch of shit? Yeah, yeah. What do you she mean? Was, she was like, time is changing. She's like, I, I can't explain it, but I'm telling you, time is changing. To hear something like that, that shit made me want to call her and be like, yo, you said. Bro. That's crazy. They said the earth is now spinning faster. I can believe it. Like the 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 the, the pull, the the axis that the earth is tilted on spinning is now faster. making us spin faster. And now what, what we don't even know where we're spinning to. We don't do, mind you, we don't know that answer for nothing. No, no, of course not. We don't but know I'll where we're going. I'll tell you the coolest part about that, which is kind of cool. Just on some let's get nerdy. We're we're nerds. Come on now. <laughs> Let's get nerdy. We like so, good education. So 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 actual clocks, not the bullshit electric, real clocks, they 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 spin from Mercury. Yes. Mercury. Absolutely. Um you can't change that. You can't. How the time is cuz they use Mercury which is the the, the rock of yep. whatever, right? So bro, if Earth is spinning faster, what's funny is our clocks will go faster and we wouldn't even realize it. Yes. Like, we wouldn't even notice. Yeah. You wouldn't even notice your second getting smaller. Yeah. Like, because we know it at 60 seconds. And it's still mm-hmm. 60. But a faster 60? Nigga. So if it's one, two, what if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? But, but, it take, but we wouldn't it even takes, know. But, but this, it takes away from what you know. But this is what I'm saying. The nerdy part is our clocks wouldn't even know that. Electric would probably. Oh, shit. That's what I'm trying no, to say. No, no, you're right. You have a real clock that has the original Mercury type. You'll you just be like, damn, you, it's one fifteen. What time is it? Damn, it's one twenty. God you, damn, it's one thirty. No, but but more, more We wouldn't even know. It's two o'clock. Dane, more importantly, you would say you're sixty, but you're really ninety because the time done elapsed. Is what you're trying to say, no? Let me know. Yeah, no, 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 no. All of that. Cool, okay. All of that. Your son would go from eight to ten. Yeah. Quicker. Yeah. <laughs> like Wow. That's what I'm saying. It's really some deep shit, bro. Like, that's deep. They said, bro, this is this is a fact. They said that the earth is spinning faster, and, and I wanted to talk to you about it. Like, what the fuck? We're yeah. spinning faster. Bro, you know, I'm a geek, bro. I love that kind of shit. Cause, cause, cause no, but I'm think, scared, nigga. I don't know. I wouldn't be scared. You're not scared? No. Bro, if you're doubling in age faster than normal, you're no, not no, no, scared? No, 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 You don't double in age. Can I explain? No, 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 no. Can we geek out no, just for a minute? No, like I, 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 yes, go ahead. I love go this ahead, shit. Go ahead. Let's do it. You're still you. Let's do it. The earth spinning around faster doesn't change how, how no, but much. No, it changes your age because your age is it associated changes. with where the earth is. <laughs> like, if we want to get really deep, fam, I, I, time isn't linear. Time is, oh my God. For real, we want to go in? Bro, get in your bag, bro. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. I've never thought that time was linear. Mm-hmm. I don't. I've never understood the calendar year age. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Because it's just a mathematical calculation about how many times you run around the sun. Around the sun. So yep. you can say a person is, is 39 and a person is 29. What's the difference? Nothing. It's just you would hear your mom Ten fuck when they fuck. The That's it. But that doesn't mean you're 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 necessarily older in your growth. Well, okay, no lies. No, you're you're definitely you're older in your older. growth. Yes. I get it. In your growth, got it. That duh. I Maybe mean, not mentality or right, but what I'm saying is spirit. it means so much less because time is time. It's not the linear calculation. So let me just make it. So if you're on a different planet, yes, you would be a different age. Yes, you would be a different weight. You would be because our time would be different. Yes. So. So you're ex. Let me try to say this clear. My bad. We getting nerdy. Your existence in your lifetime is not linear to the time that the earth spins around the world. You live and you die. Based on where you are. Period. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Don't matter where the fucking sun is and where the fucking earth is, bro. You live and you die. Now, based on the mathematical cat, you were 79. Cool. 
You was 32. No, I cool. get it. But were you? Or is that just the math that we use to use it? I I I will say we are a, we are a people that need to quantify something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we need okay, to. Okay, yeah, because yeah, without we, that, we'll just, yeah, yeah, I get it. We'll fucking wither away if we can't explain <laughs> some shit, like, like nigga. We need to be able to explain some shit. Yeah. So I get that. But I've always known it. In linear, linear just means it's completely yes. calculated. Yep. Time isn't linear one after like the that. other. Yeah, it's not. It, it 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 can't be. It's no way. It's no way. Mm. And what you just explained explains my theory because of the, the Earth's Breakfast Club breaking up. I'm, jo- <laughs> I'm joking. Joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> That's what happened. I'm joking. Fucking <laughs> Breakfast Club. Goddamn, Charlemagne. Fuck. <laughs> nah, but if the Earth spins faster, then that proves that time isn't linear. So fuck time. Hmm. Fuck time. But ah, uh, you can't say fuck time. Cause that that's still the measure to which we live by, bro. Until we find a better hmm. Oh shit, we talking now. That's what I say. Yo, we talking we now. Here now. We, we talking here now. Bro, we here now. We are here. Bro, un- until we find <laughs> a better measure of Everything mass. <laughs> I, I, I don't Everything. know. I don't even know what to call it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Until we find a better measure of that, time is what we have to measure. That's all we have. But here's how I knew the time was wrong. You can't say that because time dictates your age. Time dictates your experiences. Technically, like time is like it, it, it may be the end all be all when it comes down to time, because you spent forty million minutes on this planet which lets me know the time that you spent was that bc was it ac right but was it rtdc <laughs> nigga was it like <laughs> R- 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 rca nigga? yeah 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 you don't know what the fuck it was but that's that's the time that you spent here with us so we can equate that but once again like you say it's our need to want to equate it mm. that that makes it important Mm-hmm. We equated how long trees have existed. Yeah, and the trees was here before we got here, before we even figured out the Millions math. Of years, yeah. Before we even figured out the math, and then we don't. Here's what's funny: Man, we don't even know if the math is right. <laughs> we Facts. just niggas just was like, well, circles do circles, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Pythagorean theorems do para- to pata- you know what I mean? We algorithms do algorithms. I so apparently hate this tree is Pythagorean theorem. Oh, Yo, was so stupid, bro. You gotta guess the the, the other side of the fucking triangle, and, but what? you don't know none of the other side, bro. I've never thought time was linear, and I'll give you a basic reason. Mm-hmm. Very basic. It's very simple. It's something nobody's ever thought about. Please have a next topic because we all want to get to. We, we but talk. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Daylight saving time. A fucking... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. How is it possible for the math to be correct and you can literally turn your clock back or turn your clock forward? Whenever you want it to. But the math is still correct? It don't make no sense. That means that... It don't that make sense. literally means it don't make that sense. the calculation of time don't make don't sense. Don't make fucking sense, bro. I could change it whenever I say so. So August 13th, fuck it. Dial your clock's back an hour. That don't you're make like, no sense like, to okay, me. like, okay, shit, well, 813 is the day. That's, that, it don't make no, no and you're I, right. And, and I was you're a right. kid, and I was like, but how was it 1 o'clock now when it was it was 1 o'clock? It, uh, was, it was just 12. Right. But it went to 2? How? How? Who the like, fuck made that a thing? So how, how does that happen in a way to where... That's what I say. Get really nerdy. How does that happen in a way to where it makes sense for it to be two o'clock tomorrow? I'm like, no. That means your math is wrong, and yeah, niggas is calculating shit to keep us in sync to something. Because that's no, not true, bro. I, I'm just, I'm a very I, basic as. I was like, it don't make any sense. I agree. <laughs> a lot of shit has happened in 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 just the news cycle. Um, for the black plight. Okay. And I, I just want to talk about it. Let's get and it. And then something happened that was fucked up for the black plight. Got to. Black plight. And I want to talk about that. Okay. But if we're speaking just positivities. Yeah. Um, 
Ahmaud Arbery. Uh, the dude that the, was shot the, by the he, white chick. He was jogging. No, he was no, he jogging. Was shot. He got he got carried. He was jogging, and the no, dog. No, no, he got he got shot he by the, shot. The, the 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 white, the older white men with the shotgun. It was in Atlanta, I believe. Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. Like, Arbery. I just want to try to figure this out. And I want to try to figure it out because it's so hard for me to disseminate yeah. all of the black people that got shot. Nah, so no, you're right. It's a lot. He so got, he got a... shot by a shotgun. The nigga. Uh, oh, that's the one where the white people chased him. Yes. He was the runner. Yes, got he you, was got you, got you. I mean, I, yo, Literally. Dog, like, it's so tough to remember them all. That's no, why I'm. You're, you're right. But that's why you're I said right. I wanted to take the time to but try to. let's okay. follow the story. Gotcha, so gotcha, gotcha. We had that horrific story happen. Mm-hmm. Um. The judicial system did right by us for once. And they said, you know what? We're going to convict these people. Hmm. Right? They then had a second trial to face. Like an appeal? No. no. I, they, they had the criminal and then the federal. Okay. The federal trial just ended for the killers of Ahmad Arbery. Hmm. They got charged again for the same fucking crime. So now we have white people charged for two counts of first degree for the same person. Murder. Same, still same, all yeah, Okay, yeah. so they, okay, so in the second trial, yes, they got charged again for this. Okay, got you, got you. This never happens for us. Yeah. So what happens is us as black people, we always highlight the injustices or 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 the. The shit don't work for us in our favor, right. but we never talk about when shit actually happens that we want to happen. Okay. So, literally yesterday, uh, let me get his name because his name matters. Uh, Travis McMichaels. 21. 21. Sorry. I'm just stupid. Still in that joke. Um, <laughs> he got his second life sentence handed to him. Nice. For the murder of Ahmaud Arbery. Arbery. Yeah. yeah. Um. More importantly, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if you remember the story like I remember it, but there was an individual who was just there holding the camera. Right. He was another white guy. Right. That white guy got 35 years. Come on, fam. In how prison. You, how you filming a crime, For just bro? filming the crime. Of course, Nikki. Because cause clearly, obviously, the man was premeditated. Just, the man was just jogging. Y'all chased this man down and killed him. While he was jogging. And filmed it. And filmed it. Low key, that's the one that the white supremacy is mad at. No, but. Keep going. I mean, no, no, no. High key, I don't give a fuck if they are. But I'm just saying, white supremacy is like, you guys filmed it? (laughs) Why would you do that? You could have just shot him. We've shot a a whole lot of them. Why would you film it? But guess what? Times (laughs) are changing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Travis McMichael, mm-hmm. he was already convicted first. He was, he already got a first degree sentence. Right, right. So he, yeah. But the second one was, if it was, uh, let me get the, 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 the correct term. It was a federal hate crime for the second one. God damn. Federal hate crime. Yeah. Ex- that's what I'm trying to say. Shit is happening. Okay. No, that's different. That's so different. So the, the different. first one was just the the, the attempt the, the attempted murder. Sure. You, you murdered somebody. Yeah. Are you guilty for that? Yeah. The second count was that is this is a federal hate crime. Woo. So the government acknowledged finally for like the first that time. chasing yeah. this black man down and killing him while he was jogging is a federal hate crime. Mm. And he got a second life sentence for that. And while getting that second life sentence, mm-hmm. the nigga who recorded it got 35, 35 years. years. I'm but cool. that nigga was 70. Aww. So this is a life sentence, bro. It's a life for him, too. You're never getting out of jail. So if he, But if he was 70, man, he comes from a really old regime. Of white people who just get away with shit. You're right. It's 2022. 22 years ago is 2000. Yes. 2000 minus 50 1950. 1950. Yeah. So what's crazy is do you do you know where that is? What state that is? It was I'm just curious. If you don't it's know Georgia. Like, bro, it happened here, bro. So 1950 Georgia you were born. Oh no, it's it's a different it's a different landscape. So not even him. I'll tell you what's fucked up. Just based off of that, 
real quick, if he's 70. I know I just made him 72, so whatever, 1952. Man, Fuck shit. real math, y'all. It's niggas, we, this, we, it's, it's ain't a math show. It'll be all right. Ghetto so news. If, so if you born in 1950, it means that you're 10 in 1960. Yes. So that just means that you I hate you for that. I really do. But go ahead, continue. I'm a smart I'm so, No, no, that's stupid as shit. You got me tight. Mm-mm. Let's move past that yes, dumb yep. joke that mm-hmm. you just made. Yeah, that I actually no. understand. No, because you <laughs> pissed me off. You just pissed me off. <laughs> That's why I made it regular numbers, <laughs> nigga. Like, obviously. All right, go ahead. I'm going to go with the 10s. <laughs> you stupid for even pointing that you out. You got me so mad. Like. <laughs> all right, but but the point I'm trying to make. Go ahead with your <laughs> point that we all know, nigga. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. We know no. that in 10 years, you're 10 years old. <laughs> no, we I'm, get it. I'm going to use simple numbers. <laughs> this I can calculate tips. I was a waiter. Un- understood. <laughs> like, understood. I was a server. No, no, but but seriously, all right. So boom, you born nineteen fifty, boom, you ten nineteen sixty. What that teaches me? No, stop, stop laughing at that. I need you to go past that. Yes, go ahead. What go that ahead. teaches me is that in nineteen sixty, you were taught to hate. Absolutely. You were taught to hate. Yes. So that comes from your parents that was born in the thirties or the forties. Martin Luther the, King died in sixty eight. That's so what I'm trying, talking about. The early sixties. This Come is on, what I'm. Now. But this is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying. Like, like a motherfucker. I'm, 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 yeah, I get my dumb math. Different math, water fountains. But what I'm saying is, yeah. you were. Taught that, yeah, absolutely. because you was born in 1950. That's it. That's it. Yeah, low key. If you was born in 1960, it would, it, yeah, it, it would have been, been different. different. <laughs> it's different. You, you, you're, right. you're, you're 10 in 1970. It's a Bro, different world. But you're right. I, th- and so that's what I'm saying. So you're taught that type of hatred. So that's why it's like, yo, we are, we are waiting to get these old white racist Ooh. fucking. Come on, man. Like, nigga, I, oh, the, uh, come the on, man. Regime? The The Jim Crow niggas, yeah. get your ass the fuck out of here, bro. Pack them up. Come on. Pack them up. Let's go, okay. nigga. Pack them up. Shit, you was taught that shit. Ain't no yeah. way you 70 years old and you still shoot niggas. Mm. I mean, not not today. It's, it's, yeah. It don't make no sense. But that's the end of the regime. Into that that era. I can't I can't jog through your through, through my neighborhood. He's like, oh shit, a nigger running through. But that's what he heard when he was ten. Yes. But that's why he got him. But then, my, but imagine. Wait, I'm so sorry. Oh, this is bad. Oh my god, don't do it. But white supremacists with social media, oh, with an iPhone they 13, loved, they loved it. And he's like, look, a nigger. Kill that nigger dead. Imagine that now, like, but imagine that in this. All right. Anyway, Bro, it, let's move on, it's, man. Because that just it, 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 that took my brain to a place. So I'm like, much. but imagine if they filmed the lynchings, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, come I on, imagine man. if you could like and live stream a lynching. Wow, that's nuts. That's that's the. Mm. I'm gonna say that's the degeneration. Of humans. Technology helped degenerate us. Because. Explain it. I will. Um, because it, it, it happened at first. We acknowledged that it was happening. Yeah. We didn't like that it was happening. Right. And then we loved that it was happening. Mm. Because of technology. Technology amped up. Our love and adoration for toxic shit, yes. bad shit, um, negative shit. We don't want to see. We don't care if you won a Nobel Peace Prize. We care if you killed 10 black people in a church because you're white. But imagine filming it. Like that, like, like. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what you, what you, like, this, I don't know why this show got this deep, <laughs> but. It's a lot of shit going on, you know, and it, fam did run up in the church and shoot black people. Dylan Roof. Imagine if there was a... Kyle, Kyle Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse or whatever. Yeah, shut fuck, up. Fuck that guy. Imagine if there was a nigga behind him with a camera. No, but there was. There was. But put this in Bro, the, his escapades, trust me, they're on camera. But put that in the 60s. Oof. All right, I man. get it. That's too deep. Let's do it. I ain't, <sighs> nope, because nope, I'm about to get mad. It's going to be the end of the podcast. It's going to be a debate. <laughs> so I, I, I would say this. Um, we're sticking along the same lines. Brittany? No, no, no. no. Oh. We, we talk about Brittany afterwards. 
But s- sticking with the same lines, uh, we have Brianna Taylor. That's what I meant to say. God damn it. Yeah, I you said, said Brittany. Brittany. It's Brianna. And Brianna. Right? So we got Damn Omar- it, because I knew he was going. I'm so Bro, pissed. Come on now. We got Ahmad Arbery. 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 What the fuck? Let me not disrespect. We got Ahmad Arbery. And then it's, after it's, Ahmad. It's Arbery. It don't matter, bro. We black. It don't matter. Come on, man. Bro, Get on news. I love brother Ahmad. Either way. Ahmad. I go, I'm cool. Ahmad, I'm cool Ahmad. with Ahmad. <laughs> um, nah. Brianna Sister Taylor, Brianna. Man. Sister Brianna. <laughs> Sister Brianna. Um, we also have some justice on, on, on those lines. And this those I fronts. heard about. Um, I was excited about this. I'm very excited. Yeah. The, the officers, all officers involved have officially been charged. Um, so the officer who shot the gun that killed Brianna has been mm-hmm. charged. Also, the officers that falsified the um, the warrant that was issued have been issued as well, I mean, are, are, are charged as well. Charged. And that's big news for me. It's big news for me because that never happens. What happens is um, one of our sisters or brothers... We get murdered, right? And we get no reconciliation, right? Um, what the justice system has actually done, finally, no matter mm-hmm. I, I don't say no matter, but because of the pressure that was put on, and because of the fact that we never let go of the say her name, mm. bro, that hashtag still lives today. Like we never let go of that. So what happens is mainstream media and the mainstream public they couldn't forget about it because we weren't forgetting about it we were we weren't just moving on and she was a security guard no but more importantly like she was nigga, sleep part bro. of the force no but no dame more importantly she was sleep right we're talking about the most innocent of innocent people if we can't protect someone who was sleeping, sleeping yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's an issue <laughs> yeah, yeah you feel real. me so the whole world at one point was like nah you're all bugging right now i don't give a fuck like, come on now. We're not even talking I'm about sleep. Somebody. She didn't walk. She didn't do jump. nothing. Yeah. She was sleeping. There wasn't even a Karen involved. It's like, my she nigga, I was can't sleep. Sleep. I can't sleep. <laughs> like, nigga. Yeah, that's So lot. because of that, yeah, yeah. I feel like the world went like extra in arms. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. We can't even sleep no more, yeah, bro. Yeah, come on, man. Y'all tripping. And yep. with that, we now have charges in this case. Finally. Right? We finally have four officers in total um the one officer who shot the 10 shots at the side of the building he returned fire because the the boyfriend protection he didn't know what was yes, going on the, the boyfriend Did he who, die or was he alive no the boyfriend's alive he's alive. but the, the boyfriend who protected his home because he didn't know what the fuck was happening he just heard shots and was like and mind you i i can have a gun in this state so he had a firearm he protected his home oh in that state what state you ask it too much. I'm asking you to. <laughs> go ahead. No, go ahead. fuck you with your, your knowledge. <laughs> I'm, you just may, being a, I'm being a dick. But go yeah, ahead, you are. You may have the knowledge. Because I know you don't know this. But, but I know the story. I know. I'm not worried about I don't know the state either. I, I'm actually just asking you to. Man, fuck you then, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just kidding. I'm but, just, Brianna. Fine. Yeah. Your boyfriend, husband, whoever he may be, a significant other at the time. Yeah. Somebody broke into the home. That's yeah, what the cops did. You hit the door, bow, gunshots. That's all you know. That's it. I'm, I'm returning yeah. fire, bro. Like you, you ran into my shit. Yeah. I have a, a legal firearm right. here. I'm protecting right. my home. Right. Because I let off some shots, they then let more, into the crib. Yeah, yeah, more shots. Because y'all shot through the walls and whatever the case may be, you killed my spouse. Now fast forward. Mm. You're at fault for killing my spouse. Mm-hmm. You're at fault for shooting at me. Mm-hmm. You're at fault for having a false warrant. And what happened was, it was the wrong. they had negative information. It was the wrong. The wrong house. house. But more importantly, Dame, mm-hmm. what they proved in court, they did that purposely just to gain access to the house. That's why it's so big right now. And I, 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 that's why I feel like you missed. You you missed that part. I didn't know that. No. What happened was they falsified documents to gain access to the house because they felt they, they thought something was, was happening was and nothing was happening. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So now 
You boom rushed the spot. Yeah. A nigga defended his crib. You killed his wife. <laughs> and now we're here. All because you had bad information. Mm. Can we talk about policing in this country? But yeah, mm. once again, we we like, bro. Like I said, we so we, we can I, we can go where I'll we're going. You, uh, you know, we can continue going as we're going. I don't, I don't want to interrupt. The, I mean, if you got something to say, cool, we can talk about it. But you know. I just have an experience. Mm-hmm. I was talking to a white girl. Shout out to the white girl, a drunk white girl. Mm-hmm. You know how drunk white people be. When drunk white people are around black people, they like to ask you the questions that they would want to ask. Facts. Um, let me not fast forward that. Let me just talk about this. She said, drunk as fuck. I, I think the police need more training. And I was like, training for what? She was like, because the way that they handle situations, just it's not right. And I was like, I appreciate your sentiment, ma. Like, I, you know, mm-hmm. like, on some real shit. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was like, so, white lady, literally, I'm t- I'm, I swear to God, this is an absolutely true story. I'm not giving all the details because, eh. Yeah, but, people are implicated. But in real life, an Atlanta white chick, mm-hmm. this is important. Because mm-hmm. half our conversation was about why do why, let me say what I'm saying first. Let me just mm-hmm. say here, but mm-hmm. now, I'll give you the history after. I don't care because I'll tell you. It's, no, the shit was hilarious, but mm-hmm. let me just go here. Dog, she was like, I think they need more training. And I was like, so do you know who the police are? And she was like, they're the protectors of the... I was like, no. Police are slave catchers. Yes. Absolutely. To say this to a white woman. Mind boggled. Nigga. Blown. She was like, Huh? Oh my God! Yeah. Seriously, I was like, "Yes." the The concept of police patrolling is controlling to protect the slaves, yeah. which was the property. Bring their ass right back. Which is the property? Which is yeah. what police serve and protect? They don't serve and protect humans. humans. They serve and protect property. Property. Yeah. Agreed. So it's not their job. So people will say, "I pay your taxes." <laughs> But you, do you you protect and serve? No, they don't. Yeah, they, They've they. never been about that from the inception, dog. But to say this to a white chick who is drunk, oh, bro, what nigga. the fuck? When I tell you, my soul was like, yes, <laughs> I am making a difference. <laughs> it was just so cool to just have this conversation, and then and, then, and she was no, she was she was white, white, like white, 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 southern. Georgia white, Casper white. Yeah, mm. no man, it was so cool, and we and we had a dialogue for so many minutes, just because I was like, "Fuck it." The problem with y'all is y'all just don't talk to us. Y'all scared of us. I, you, you got in your bag. I did, because, mm. and that's apparently what kind of show this is tonight. But what I'm saying is, yeah. Now I was like, "Fuck it." If this is the only time I'm gonna talk to you, what's up? I tell you, yeah, y'all nigga, police and slave catchers. So what they be doing every day? Catching slaves, nigga. We black people. We the slaves. What's up? That's what they do. So am I mad at police? No, because technically they doing a motherfucking job, bro. They doing their job. That's what they do. They shoot us. They round us up. They lock us up. That's what slaves do, right? I mean, that's what police do to the slaves, right? They bring us back to our masters. That's what they do. That's the point of the police. Blew our fucking mind. (laughs) And I was like, fuck it. This is the only time I'm going to get to say this to a white person, so let's go, right? Like, I went all the way in. Damn it. We got more to add because I, I want to talk about Breonna Taylor. But goddamn it. Ah, man. Real quick, but I got to give you one more part. I'm so sorry. What's up? We started talking about the, the N-word. And I fucked because she was drunk. Gotcha. She was drunk. And, and, and I promise you, she was like, well... I, I don't know what it is about, like, the word, like, no, seriously, she had that voice and everything, and I was like, damn, you got that voice? Fuck it. And I breached it, I started it, I asked it. I'll give you her question. Her question was, why don't black people do white people drugs? (laughs) Wow. Yeah, she was like, well, why don't black people do coke? And I'm like, 
Because you're bugging. Because <laughs> like, we don't do... Number one, we can't afford Coke. Mm-hmm. On some real shit, Coke is fucking expensive. It's an expensive habit, bro. A kilo is 1200 What are we talking about? Niggas got nickel bags. What the fuck is we... Mm-mm. Boom. So we started there. We started with the drugs. And then and then she asked me, she said, would you try Coke? Well, I was like, yeah, I'll try it once. And, she, and then she was like, don't do it once because you're going to get wrapped in... I'm like, oh, so you trying to hold me from Coke? You know, I understand? Like... Yeah. White people holding me down again, bro. Like, I say I want to do coke. What's up? What's wrong with me doing coke? If I want to do coke one time, one time, one time? I mean. Fuck you. White people holding us down again. My bad. But then <laughs> it went further. So then she was like, uh, no, I asked her, what, what is it with the M word? And she was like, well, I don't say it. You know, they all hit you with that. I don't say it. I would never say it. Da, 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 da. But she was like, white people are very upset. To the mm. fact that they can't say nigga. Yeah, I don't understand why. And it really bothers them. No, dog. It, it does. I don't understand That conversation why. that I had with that white girl was so incredible to the point where I got her uh, information. Mm. And I'm like, I want you to be on my podcast. I, I invited her. Because yeah. not that I want to attack her. I just would love to debate. The white version, bro. So, so everything that we talked about, my bad. From our, our, uh, our Aubrey, Brianna uh, Taylor. What I'm saying is, there's literally just a different perspective being a white person. And I was like, oh shit, dude. Bro, but duh, nigga, duh. But I was like, yo, do you pot? Do you do you podcast? Like, I was like, she's like, for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was Nick, my bro. State is. <laughs> I was like, fuck. I, I want to have you on the show. Because I love everything that she told me was just from a standpoint of not understanding us. Yeah. Our struggle. And it took me to, yo, do you have any black friends? Wow. And she was like, yeah, I got black, you know, all white people say they got one. All black people, all white people got one black friend. You know how that goes. We know. But then I looked at Instagram. It's one black mom. She ain't got no black friends for real. Damn. And so what I learned is. It's really the conversation, fam. So now I'm gonna just take it all the way back because I'm a bit nerdy on this one. This was one I, I let off my nerdiness. What I've learned is that's the problem. The problem is the communication. White people do not know. It's not personal. Mm-hmm. It's not personal. The joke she was making and what's their and what's job is to not know. But yes, there is an agenda. Yeah. But that's why they don't like us fucking with their white daughters as black men. They're like, Oh, you're gonna corrupt my daughter. You're gonna give her the information. Yeah. No, no, we keep we keep them away from you. I'm telling you, and I saw it. She was beautiful. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman. And I was just like, Man, this is crazy. You don't know so much. I was like, I, she was sexy too, and dog, and I swear, I just was like, I, I can't fuck with you, cause oh, you just shit. don't, you just don't know so much. Mm. Low key, I don't even want to, I don't even want to give you my dick, nigga. Like I know, cause it ain't worth it. Like it's not, it's not worth it, dog. Like, all right, I'm okay. just telling you real shit. Put a price on it, nigga. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Let but, us know it's real. That, that, <laughs> shit, that shit. It was such an amazing conversation. Because she's a southern white woman. And the only reason that this conversation sparked was because she was like, did you get whooped as a kid? And I was like, yeah, I got my ass whooped. And she was like, I don't want to be racist. She was like, but why do y'all think that white people don't whoop their kids? <laughs> we be whooping them on the space table. <laughs> so, anywho, bro. Mm-mm. Are we done? My bad, bro. I talk. I probably talked through the last topic. Not me, but we got one more. I just wanted. To, I just wanted to express that because that was actually something that happened this week. That was real. It was. I had a mm-hmm. real conversation with a southern white chick who was beautiful, and I was like, "Wow." You want to talk about one more southern chick? Uh oh. Brittany Griner. Getting Let's nine- go! I wanted to do bro. this one. All right, then this is it. We nine, gotta go. We nine, gotta go, bro. Nine years. Nine years. Nine fucking years for the for the amount for, for a point seven <laughs> point seven grams of CBD oil. Wait, what? Yeah. 
Okay, wait, what? Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. It wasn't weed? She didn't have point grams it, of, it was of the po- sticky icky? No, it was 0.7 grams of a CBD oil cartridge. And sis got nine years for it. That's it. That's the story. Are you sure? What, bro? Are, are you? Are we dead serious? I We're not. Don't do that to me. I didn't know it was CBD oil. Bro, I, once again, Brittany Griner sentenced to nine years. Point seven grams of CBD oil. It wasn't hard weed. It wasn't the bush. She didn't walk across with a fucking bushel of some shit she was trying to hide. It was CBD oil cartridges. <laughs> and both of them, because it, it was two, both of them combined 0.7 grams. Not even a point. It's not even a whole point, bro. It's not even a whole point. How do you feel? I got to go with you first. Cool. I mean, I, I, but I'm I'll, just now hearing this, so I'm taking I, it. I will spark it. I'll Please. say... This is some bullshit. Sorry. Bullshit. This is some fucked up shit. Um, I feel like this is a way to control someone's body long term. I feel like this is the last ditch attempt at a as a mom to fortify her position, to be honest. And it's, it's, it's crazy. Mm-mm. I didn't know there was CBD oil. <laughs> Bro, you know now. Trust me, you know My now. bad. The anger is bubbling, but I ain't going to get too no. mad. The CBD oil. The most harmless shit ever. No, but it's, it's legal as fuck. That too. Like, everywhere. I get that where she was at, it was illegal. But it's like, bro. And then the athlete, CBD oil is used in athletics for pain. Mm-hmm. You know? That's like taking a, a hot shower after you play sports. Nigga, it, it helps. It feels like everything. Yeah. I didn't know that, dog. I thought she had weed. I was making jokes. It was like 0.7 about a weed. It's like, yeah, well, shit. <laughs> ain't a lot, nigga. I've had, nigga. Bro, point, point 0.7 about a weed? Yeah, bro, I got point 0.7 weed bro, on bro, me. Bro, like, bro, what we talking about? But like, that's I, a couple hundred, bro. Point 0.7. Depending where you grab it from. Yeah, point 0.7, not that much. But, yo, it's been a hell of a we show. We got to go, man. It's getting late. It's a hell of an episode. That is fucked up, though. I really didn't know that. We spoke about a lot of good shit. We did, man. Yo, I fuck with it, man. I fuck with this room and where we at right now. This is cool, man. Facts. I love you, brother, man. Um, yo, uh, you got anything going on, real quick? Can we shout out some no, shit before we, got, we go? We got new music on the way. Okay. We got new visuals on the way. Okay. Uh, we down here in the south. We we doing what the fuck we supposed to be doing, and because Atlanta. of that, a lot of shit happening. Atlanta, man. I'm I'm getting. I'm, you see it? Yeah, bro. You getting the gut, bro. <sighs> Nigga. But shout out to Biggie on your shirt. Biggie in the gut? <laughs> <laughs> Big gut? Oh. That was bad. That was terrible. It's, it's terrible okay. <laughs> All right, yo. We see y'all next week, man. Appreciate y'all, man. I got to get back in the gym because I'm getting fat. Facts. Um, you do. I made a joke real quick last week. I was like, I think um it should be a sport to move to the South and not get fat. It's a sport. Like, Stupid. <laughs> yo, man. We see y'all next week. Willow Wednesdays, man. We out here. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.